Components are the main building blocks that run Lotion. They're what lets you drag and drop pre-built, configured content calendars, project timelines, financial dashboards, rather than needing to build them from scratch yourself. So in this video, we're going to cover all that you need to know about adding components in three steps. So here we have an empty Flotion page that's called components. It's not very helpful because there's nothing in it. And so our task is to add some useful components to it so that we can actually start solving some real problems in our business. The first step is going to be to locate the components toggle list inside of our Flotion menu and editor. The purple toggle list is going to hold all of the components of our workspace. This menu is divided into some categories, content, client and contacts, product, strategy, operations, docs, archives, financials, and other. For this particular video, we're going to generate a new content calendar and we're going to drag it into our new empty page. This is going to be as simple as hitting the content calendar plus button, waiting for that content calendar to generate, and then dragging the entire block from this side drag and drop icon into the page where we want our content calendar to appear. When I do that, the content calendar is no longer going to be located in our menu. It's going to be right where we want it on this page. Next, I'm going to create another instance of that same content database on another page. So I'm going to quickly create a new page and we're going to call it content2. And what we're going to do is add another content calendar to that page. And we're going to check if these two pages are synced up correctly. So once again, I'm going to hit this content calendar button. I'm going to drag and drop into this space here on the content2 page. And I'm going to test it by adding a new item here. We can call it content test. What I want to check is, is this showing up in all of the instances of this content calendar? So we created one on this components page and it used to be empty. But now we can see that we have this content test showing up here. If I drag and drop this to the 5th instead of the 14th, I'm going to head back to my content 2 page. I'm going to check that this is updated accordingly, which it has. This applies to every component inside of our components editor. These are all linked instances of single databases inside of your map. So you can create as many copies of this as you like, and they will all be linked up and synced accordingly so that no matter where you are, no matter which page you're in, inside of this flow, all of the components that are referencing the same database will update accordingly. It's also worth noting that this is not the case between flows. So if I head back to my Flotion dashboard, just because I edit something inside of the this new client portal content calendar, that will not update anything inside of my content hub sample flow because these are actually separate databases that are being referenced.